Hello guys, welcome back to Revit 2016 video tutorials. In the previous video, we know that uh, we have gone through the columns, I mean how to construct the columns in Revit. So in this video, we will go through uh, beams. So as you see, this was the 3D model of our structure. Let's see in something like realistic view. Oh, that looks gr great. So let us uh, let us go to basement level, and there you go. You have the columns, but this one is a little distorted because I just made some changes to it. Okay, now it looks good. So in order to have beam. Uh, let me just show you in elevation mode so in order to have beams over here I mean at parking level I will just select parking level and in parking level what I can see is I can just see the wall and the columns that are on the parking level so I'll go to structure and I'll select beam then I'll select over here concrete rectangular beam and uh, let's say select some size we can edit this size to let's say 3 feet by 3 feet and select apply select ok over here at parking so everything looks good and let us just try it once there you go you need to make sure you s you have beam at every other point you just don't need to go from here to here directly I'll even show you how to do the uh, arc beam or circular beam. Do not worry about that. So um, let us looks like. Uh, So now again Okay, just select escape Then again uh, Go to beam Select our beam And see in edit it's of same size now I can just uh, create the beam similar to the previous one there you go so uh, like this once you're done with the beams you can what you can do is you can select those beams all of those and you can just copy it multiple times to all the level uh, lines so I'll select copy then I'll select a center point and from there I'll move to the another center point there you go so 
so uh, this is a procedure how you uh, do the straight beams okay uh, so now let us do a circular beam so that uh, we can end this video so in sh here we have line command so instead of that we will select center ends arc and so let's say center is this okay and you need to select the other point and then the third point so in this way uh, you can have a circular beam if you view this in 3d you can find it really amazing there you go the beams and here we have a circular beam so in this way uh, you can do the beams I mean you can just copy this straight beams over to the entire and I can just draw on again one line over here in the other direction I can just copy all those beams then you are done with the beams so in this way uh, you can do the concrete beams in the next video we will go through the flow slab so that we can end our concrete part for now okay so thank you for watching the video